Item number, SCP-317. Object class, safe. Special containment procedures. SCP-317-1 is to be preserved in a vat of liquid nitrogen. Requests for tissue samples from SCP-3171 must be made in writing. All research into tissue samples from SCP-3171 must be in compliance with Class V biohazard protocols. Examination of SCP-3172 must be done in Class III cleanroom facilities. Requests for examination of 3172 must be made in writing. SCP-3173 has been disassembled. The parts are stored in separate locations. Requests for examination of 3173 must be made in writing to two separate O5 level personnel. No two components of SCP-3173 may be brought within 100 kilometers of each other. Description SCP-3171 is the cadaver of a sapient reptilian entity tentatively identified as a previously unknown species of Pachycephalosaurid. Subject was bipedal, female, and three meters tall, and wore clothing made from synthetic polymers. Subject also wore corrective lenses. Subject was largely herbivorous and had prehensile digits. Subject's metabolism was adapted to a higher atmospheric oxygen content and therefore, subject wore a respirator device when not in its quarters. Biochemical analysis post-mortem, rhodopsins, mitochondria, homeobox genes, cytochrome P450, confirms that SCP-3171 shared common ancestry with current Earth life. Autopsy records are available in Archive 317B-685. In the 40 days between its arrival and Foundation custody, at its death from a lactobacillus infection, SCP-3171 learned to communicate via a combination of sign language, crude vocalizations, and drawings. Video Archive 317B-36 shows interview sessions with SCP-3171. Drawings made by SCP-3171 are available in Archive 317B-42, General Access, Basic Anatomical Figures, Interactions between itself and Foundation personnel. Demonstration of knowledge of mathematics. Demonstration of knowledge of chemistry. Demonstration of knowledge of nuclear physics. And Archive 317B58. Restricted access. Circuit diagrams. Mechanical schematics. Data expunged. SCP-3172 is the personal effects of SCP-3171. A tunic, a robe, a tool belt, six tools, corrective lenses, an oxygen mask, three empty oxygen tanks, a fire-damaged document pouch made from synthetic polymers and its fire-damaged contents, and a fire-damaged digital camera whose contents were unrecoverable. SCP-3173 is the fire-damaged remains of what is believed to have been a time machine which SCP-3171 was attempting to repair at the time it was taken into custody by the Foundation. Preliminary testing of the intact components revealed data expunged, at which point all testing was halted and SCP-3173 was disassembled. Note, there's something wrong with this one, people. A technological civilization should have left some trace in the stratigraphic record. If there was a Holocene epic before us, where did the evidence go? Dr. It's not just the complete lack of trace in the fossil record. It's the species. How could it have been a pachycephalosaurid that developed intelligence? They were at best average for Cretaceous fauna. Why not a trudontid, an ornithomimid, or another small theropod? There's something going on here that we're missing. Dr. M. Lesson complete. If you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-316, Color Draining Light, right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist.